Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't run across me before, hey, I go by Didi. Today, I have a very highly requested video. Y'all can see by the title who this video is gonna be about. But before I get into the video, I am very excited to announce that I have partnered with the one and only Timu. Now, if you haven't heard of Timu, you've definitely been living under a rock. Basically, if you know me, you know I love a good bargain. I love to shop cheap. I just love seeing sales and saving money. And that's basically what Timu is. It's a discount app. Everything is dirt cheap, good quality items. You know, they can have anything that you would possibly need at a really affordable price. And they always have like daily games, spins and stuff like that. It's really just a fun app. So I have teamed up with them today. They sent me a lot of goodies. Um, I already opened about half of them. That's basically what some of this stuff is over here. They did send me a lot of stuff. So I'm going to just show y'all what they sent me, how y'all can get it, share some codes with y'all, and all that good stuff. So Timu actually does have a 30-day price adjustment policy. So they will adjust the price for you as they see fit. It's a lot of stuff in here, y'all. They really sent me a lot. Mm. Okay, so this looks like my little lunchbox set. So you can see it has some forks and it's like a little collapsible lunchbox kit because I really do want to get into going into the gym and meal prepping and things like that. So y'all know I love pink. I've seen this. I was like, yeah, let me grab me one of those. Also, this outfit is from Timu as well. It's a little gray one piece. So y'all, they have everything on their clothes, little slides, slippers, anything you could possibly want. They have it in there. So yes, y'all, this is my cup. It comes with this little bowl. Look how cute this is, y'all. Oh my gosh. So it does come with an extra straw. It already has one in there. Y'all, how cute is this? Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this. Y'all know me. I love everything pink. It's really good quality, y'all. Like, And I also did order me another cup y'all is this not the cutest thing ever look at the details a little bunny ears a little chain if you extra like me and it also did come with these little like charms that you can use to decorate it with y'all i'm a sucker for stuff like this like this is too cute i'm definitely gonna decorate this i will be using the chain because i'm extra this is the one i have on my phone currently it's like a 3d heart and I had, I used this, um, this past weekend, it was my birthday weekend. So I had this case on my phone. I was getting so many compliments. And then I also did order this one as well. It's like a 3D flowers type of design. So if you download the Timu app using the link in my description, you will receive a $100 coupon bundle for absolutely free. Yes, y'all, $100 for free from me and Timu just by downloading the Timu app using the link in my description. Or if you don't want to do that, you can use my code, which I'll have right here in your Timu app to get the same deal. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's so soft. It's actually really good quality. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So look, it's literally a donut, y'all. And it's big. Y'all, they little cow slippers. These are too cute. They're so soft and so comfy and they just so adorable. I've never seen these before. These, these, I've been seeing these in like Foot Locker, you know, the um, shoe stores in the mall. I think it's supposed to be like the Yeezy Croc inspired, but y'all, I seen these, I was like, oh yeah. Let me grab me some because I love some interesting looking shoes. They're like Crocs. So, yes, y'all, I highly recommend y'all check out Timu. Click the link in my description for that $100 coupon bundle. Or you can type in this code if you already have the app into the search bar to get the same discount. And if you happen to get your items delivered late, they will credit you $5 for that. But, y'all, these items got here really, really fast. You know, some of these companies take a long time for shipping. When the prices are good, you know, it's going to take a little while to get here because it's like... It was already cheap. I can wait. But y'all, Timu been on it. I definitely got my items very, very fast. I didn't even have to wait. So yeah, I really love that about them as well. They're really up there with the ship. Thank you again, Timu, for sponsoring this video. Y'all make sure to check them out. I'm going to have everything in the description. Okay, y'all, with that being said, let me go ahead and hop into the topic of today's video. Y'all can see by the title that this was the very highly requested video 
on Lovely Peaches. Now, if you don't know who Lovely Peaches is, again, like if you don't know what Timu is, you've definitely been living under a rock. Lovely Peaches was a big, big thing a couple years back, but I thought since I was getting it so many times, let me just go ahead and cover her. Y'all really wanted to see me cover her, so I was like, let me go ahead and just make this video right quick. But before we get into her, y'all do know I have to do my little disclaimer right quick. Anything I say in this video I found online, I'm not making this video to bash or slander anybody's name, and I am doing this video under YouTube's fair use policy or guidelines. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of today's video, Lovely Peaches. Brittany Johnson was born January 4, 2001, which is making her 22 years old today. She was born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana, and it's said that she grew up pretty well with her mother and her father. Although they did get separated, she did get along with her stepmother. Now, Brittany, aka Peach's mother, sadly ended up taking her own life when Peach's was only 15. And it seems like since then, Peach's was never mentally the same. Peach's claimed she started to run away from home and stayed in motels after her mother passed. Um, I remember I started being homeless at the age of 13. Um, I'm 18 now and I pretty much, I live in a hotel and I'm pretty happy where I'm at. Um, I'm pretty dependent now. Um, but as you know, I was homeless for a very long time, on and off for five years straight. Somewhere during this time, it said that Peaches was a victim of human trafficking and was even assaulted by several pimps. You know, my body count is way higher than my age. <laughs> um, by the time that I was 14 years old, I had already been with at least 85 people, so I don't know. In 2017, Peaches started to post herself on social media, like YouTube and Instagram, where she would post some pretty bizarre and concerning videos where she would just really say, inappropriate things and act in inappropriate ways. But despite this, Peaches quickly began to garner online attention, especially from teens online, who found how she acted funny and she quickly found herself a pretty large fan base. I felt like a majority of her followers saw Peaches as some sort of character and felt like her videos were skits. But her videos quickly escalated as she would say and show some pretty disturbing things to the point where it was obvious that this had went way further than just a skit. Peaches can be found online drinking toilet water, laughing at a man that she gave an STD. You were saying? You know, why does she just stay right up in your What the f*** is wrong with you? <laughs> Wait, it's normal to have bugs in your rigid dough. My bug, my piece got bugs in it. You mad or not? Are they biting your, your piece well? <laughs> Flashing her privates at an influencer that was a minor at the time on live. Don't change the subject. Why were you acting like you were inside my house if you weren't? Girl, I was inside your house. I got your shirt. Girl, no, you didn't. Stop hallucinating. I love you so much, Malu. You are what inside my house? Don't you? You could go. I to love jail. you, Malu. You're a queen. You could go to jail, baby girl. Ma, I love you. <laughs> Eating feces on more than one occasion, going out naked in public, almost any crazy and nasty thing that you can imagine, Peaches has done it. 
She has even said that it was her goal to get as many STDs as possible and she would be excited when she got a new one. <laughs> I just found out the most amazing news. <laughs> so last week I went to go get tested at the clinic and they just called me and told me I have four STDs, one being chlamydia. I wanted to have chlamydia my whole life. Now, Peaches openly sold her body and she would frequently show her clients on camera, exposing countless men on the internet without their permission. What's she hiding for? Uh, I don't like him like this. Do you like this? Come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on, chill out, man. Come on, this. You want to hang out? Uh, <laughs> Where you want to hang out? Of? You're very sexy. <laughs> Where are you staying? Uh, wait, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm 18 and I like 50, 60. <laughs> and we're just looking at our reflections. See, we're just looking at our reflections. Mm -hmm. I told you I wasn't going to go live. I was just joking about going live. Now we no, just, you wouldn't. We're, I'm not live. We're just looking at our, our reflections. <laughs> and on March 1st, 2018, Peaches had her first child, who she named Cora when she was 17 years old. Now, after the birth of her daughter, Peaches would come online saying straight, disturbing, and nasty things towards and about her daughter that were way more than concerning. So as everybody knows, March 1st of 2018, I had a beautiful baby girl named Cora, Miracle. Um, Cora Miracle is no longer with us. So I'm getting that out there. She's so I don't understand why we're still thinking about it, but we are because when you have a child, it's hard to kind of just forget them. You're always going to think about them, but I'm getting over it. You know, I'm living life. You know, she's gone, whatever. So Cora Miracle is in a situation, it's just over. But I thought I'd do one last goodbye one last let go so core miracle i'm oh, sorry it's hard not to smile and be serious because i am kind of happy that i no longer have to worry about a child i'm a little sad but i'm more happy than sad because i no longer have to worry about her after peaches came online talking to a man over the phone about trafficking her daughter Viewers quickly contacted CPS and it was revealed that Peaches never had custody of her daughter in the first place. It seemed like her daughter was in the care of her grandparents. However, it seemed like the more crazy things Peaches would do, the more attention and followers she got and the crazier that she would act. She started to release music in 2019 and one of her songs called Itching and Burning started to go viral on TikTok. This is when she began to harass Charlie D'Amelio, who was one of the biggest people on TikTok at this time. She would say really inappropriate and sexual things in Charlie's lives. And she even claimed that she hired a man to Charlie. Thanks, you're so cute. Thank you. I just, oh my goodness. I literally, like right before I got on live, um, um, I ordered a bunch of new jewelry from Cyberspace Shop because they just have the most adorable piece oh wait let me see if i can show you guys what i got oops um i got a bunch of really cute stuff i swear because nicole is and i'm taking one more nap before i start traveling um i got charlie's address i got her details i got the man that's coming with me to her he's gonna so hard to the point that she's gonna have to go to the hospital because of the trauma <laughs> i'm coming charlie
This is also around the time that Peaches would show herself harming her dog and she even claimed to break her dog's legs. And she claimed that the dog had passed away, which caused viewers to call the police on her. And she was arrested in January of 2021, but the dog was found alive and taken out of her care. She was interrogated by the police where she admitted that she lied about the ups for fame and clout and it was all recorded on the police's body cams. Now, since all of this, it seems like Peaches took a break from the internet, but she started to post again on her Instagram. And during COVID, she was very active on her TikTok account where she would do the same dance to the same song almost every single day. To this day, she still has a very large fan base of mostly teenagers, but she has stayed out of the media. Honestly, it's a really sad and strange situation. Knowing her past situation, it's not hard to see what turned Peaches to act like this, but it is really disheartening to see such a young woman acting in this manner. And it's honestly hard to tell if Peaches is a character or is this really how Brittany Johnson thinks. Let me know what y'all think about the whole Peaches situation in the comments. Make sure y'all check out my discount code in the bio. Don't miss out on that $100 bundle. Let me know what y'all gonna get. Let me know if y'all like my haul. Let me know if y'all like this video and I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye y'all.